Hey Econ students, this is Jacob Clifford and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now I'm making this quick video to give you some tips and strategies to help you remember supply and demand. So here we go, we got eight different things. If you remember these things, you're gonna do great in your class. I'm assuming that you already watched my videos where I covered demand, supply, changes in price, and shifting supply and demand. Have you seen those yet? If you haven't, go back and watch those because this video is designed to give you an overview and some tips to remember all that stuff. Number one, remember demand to the dirt. Demand's a downward sloping curve. It shows you the law of demand. Price goes up, quiet demand it goes down. In my classroom, I used to tell my students to do this with their hands. Beep, boop, 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 boop. That's to help them remember the idea. Price goes up, quiet demand goes down. Price goes down, quiet demand goes up. Beep, boop, 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 boop. That's the noise of the law of demand. And number two, supply goes the sky it has a different noise, looks like this. Whoop, 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 whoop. When the price goes up, the quantity supplied that producers produce goes up, and the price goes down, the quantity supplied goes down. That's the law of supply showing you an upward sloping supply curve. Next up is putting supply and demand together, and that's why I want to show you these. If I take a piece of paper and I cut it, which blade cut the piece of paper? Was it the top blade or the bottom blade? Obviously, they both did, and that's my point. Supply and demand need to be put together to be a useful tool. You can't just learn demand and just supply. You gotta make sure you understand how to put them together. And demand and supply get you to an equilibrium, which is the market clearing price. That's the only price where the quiet demand equals the quantity supply. And when you put supply and demand together, remember price does not shift the curve. A change in price only slides along the curves, doesn't shift the curve. In my classroom, to help my students remember that, I had them make a hook with their finger and they became a pirate, Arr, and they said, price doesn't shift the car. Now, I know that's pretty stupid, but if you see a test question that says there's a change in price, remember that does not shift any of the curves. It does not change the demand or the supply. It only changes the quantity demanded and the quantity supplied. So one more time. Don't forget. Price and ship the car! Yarr. Thank you. And when price does change, we're not at equilibrium. We're at disequilibrium. The quantity demanded doesn't equal the quantity supplied. So there's either a shortage or a surplus. So to help you remember that, remember if we're not at equilibrium, we're at disequilibrium, and the shorter one is short. That's a shortage. Up here's a surplus. Now, if something other than the price of the actual product changes, then that can actually shift the curves. Remember, anything that affects consumers and buyers, that shifts demand. It affects producers and sellers and production. That's going to shift supply. And this might help. Remember, there's five shifters of demand and five shifters of supply. These things shift these curves around. It has nothing to do with shortage and surplus. These are curves moving. Most of the time on your test, you're going to have a single shift where either demand or supply is going to shift, and that changes the price and quantity. But but sometimes you're gonna have questions with a double shift. These are questions with both demand and supply are shifting at the same time. And just remember, something's gonna be indeterminate. The trick I gave you in my double shifts video is to draw each graph separately, figure out what happens to price and quantity, then combine those ideas, and that tells you what happened to price and quantity from the double shift. So if price goes up here and price goes down here, you know, well, price could go up, it could go down. So that's the one that's indeterminate. And that brings us to the next one, when in doubt, draw it out. There is a 0% chance that you're going to get through an econ class without having to draw those graphs. You have to feel comfortable drawing them, not just for the test, but also for your own answer. So on a multiple choice question, draw out that graph. And it's going to give you the right answer every time. And that's really the key. You've got to practice drawing supply and demand and understanding given any scenario, what's going to happen to demand or supply and what happens to price and quantity as a result of that shift. And you should have watched the two different videos where I had you practice one using supply and demand for hamburgers. Ah! and the other one using the supply and demand for fidget spinners. Anyways, if you keep these eight tips in your brain, it's gonna help you master supply and demand and rock your econ class. Excellent! In every episode, I add something to the wall behind me to help you remember that key concept. There's a lot of key concepts here. They're all boiled down into two different things. One is the scissors, showing you the idea of supply and demand. And the other one, it's right here. A gallon of milk to help you remember demand, supply, and the examples I gave you using milk in my other videos. Oh, we're good. We're good. You see those on the wall, it's going to help you remember supply and demand. But don't go anywhere. It's time for a pop quiz. <laughs> Yes, every episode I give you a few multiple choice questions to make sure you're actually getting it. In this one, I'm gonna give you eight multiple choice questions based on the eight different tips I gave you 
in this video. Remember though, the questions won't be on the screen for very long, so you have to pause the video and then look in the comments below for the right answer. Remember, not in the description. The very first comment, my comment, is gonna have the answer key. And while you're down there, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know how you did on the quiz and how you like my videos and what else you want me to do to help you learn and love economics. By the way, if you haven't seen it yet, you should definitely watch my Econ Movies episode where I talk about supply and demand using Indiana Jones. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe and check out my ultimate review packet. Thanks for watching. Until next time.